Hello everybody, it's me Waltman Beats here and welcome to Imagine Earth. Now, this is a little different than a lot of the games I typically play on this channel, but I just felt like I was in the mood to try something new, you know, do a kind of chill city builder type of game, which is what I believe this is. Um, I haven't really looked into it much like I like usual. Um, don't like to spoil much of anything, I typically when I decide what games I want to play I look at how they look on screen I check what category it is because I don't like turn-based combat so I always I always make sure it isn't turn-based combat game is it so uh, yeah I'm pretty sure this is just like a, a city builder game set in space I think <laughs> but uh, it'll look cool so let's give it a go um, wants me to create a profile, so we'll just go with the wild man beats. Imagine Earth Limited, building sustainable civilizations. See, doesn't this look cool? I think it looks kind of neat. Uh, it could be really lame when we get into it, though. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, thanks for coming to watch the video, and uh, I hope you enjoy. Otherwise, let's get into it. Right, it's got a campaign. Okay. I didn't know it had a campaign. Welcome to Imagine Earth oh, LTD. Your job as a space colony manager is building sustainable civilizations. Establish thriving and profitable colonies on a global scale. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh. <laughs> that was a pretty short cutscene. Was that really necessary? <laughs> um. Easy, normal, hard. We'll go normal. Uh, help dialogues or story only? Uh, I think I'd, I'd rather do story only. Greetings. I am Aaliyah. Thank you for your interest in the colony management job at Imagine Earth Limited. Oh, this is like Welcome some to the Andromeda company? Galaxy. Do you like its unique beauty? Since the discovery of Ideon crystals has enabled us to travel in hyperspace, new habitable biospheres are constantly being identified. Cool. Tudo. All right, I guess that's supposed to be my first uh, galaxy. Or not? No. Well, you know what I mean. Your application test will take place on Tuto, one of the smallest planets in the area and an idyllic paradise. Let's build a magnificent colony with 900,000 inhabitants. If we reach that population, we will be granted the planet. We urgently need its yields to remain competitive. Granted the planet. What you just build a colony and everybody says, Oh, yep, that planet's yours. What kind of system is this? Oh, you can like uh, scroll around to see how the planet looks. All right, it's a pretty small planet. Oh, but it's a tutorial, probably. That's why. Welcome aboard. We are approaching Tuto. This little planet already offers good conditions for a stately colony. All right. Your job is to build cities and their supply networks. Use the mouse wheel or the buttons Q or E to zoom in or out of the globe. Hold the right mouse button and drag the mouse to... Clicking the right mouse button closes every menu. It closes this message as well. If I want to point something out to you, an icon will appear on the planet. Rotate the planet until you find it, and activate the message with the left mouse button. Click on a free field in the target area to open the build oh, ring. Geez. Select the city center and choose the landing site. Make sure to get as much building land as possible within the radius. So they want it right here? Urban? City center. 100,000 housing space. So we'd need nine of these at least then. Well, if we're maximizing building space, yeah, that is pretty good. All right. 
auto choose i don't really care about the names i suspect we'll have plenty of these so naming them would After get landing, cumbersome after landing our capsule is expanded into the city center of your new colony can you see the borders of your colony your buildings and city districts can only be built within this area kind of like civ 5 or 6 or something right oh geez why are let's uh the sound effects are loud the music's a little loud or is it no i think interface is fine This all looks good. Now we need food for our citizens. Choose build one of the fertile farm. fields to build a farm there. There's three fertile fields. This one has rocks on it. This one has a forest on it. This one has... Looks like food plants. I'll go with this one. Oh. You can still build them on the other squares, but depending on what they are, you get worse yield. I mean, this one's got rocks and snow, so it gets nothing. This one's snow, 16. Ooh, four over here. It doesn't like these question mark ones. One. Oh, that one. How long does it take? Oh, they gotta fly over and build it? Of course, the farm needs energy. Quickly build a power plant to provide energy to your buildings. Power the coal plant. power plant has to be built on a coal deposit to operate efficiently. And this stuff is coal? But this looks like coal too. Why can't I build it here? Rocks. We need more energy. Uh, okay. Oh, so that is coal. Okay. Wait, that's coal too? Oh, wait. Yeah, I guess that is coal. Huh? 189. And they build the road? They can build it over the mountain or around it? <laughs> They've got part of the road here, part of the road here. I feel like that's really connected. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to click her, right? Without a supply of goods, the quality of life in your cities will remain low. Build a quarry or a wood factory. That makes people happy? Alright. Quarry Wood Factory. Well, this... The quarry gets more stuff. Ooh. Ooh, 60 here. 60, that's a lot. Oh, because you want to build it next to the rocks. Not on them. Oh, did I cancel it? Okay, what about the wood? Yeah, here it gets both of these. But 
but if I built it on top, it gets less. That's cool. So it gets 32 base, 35 with one, and 42 with two. This gets 40 base, 50 with one, and 58 with two. Hey, this is a pretty good combo right here. I think I'll, oh, place on free field. How about we clear it? Demolish the forest. Sorry, forest. We need more goods. Shut up. Now we can... Oh, now it's also good for the food, but... It's not what we're using it for. colonists arrive by orbital lift they will leave your colony the same way if they're not satisfied with the quality of life well they're gonna be leaving them i recommend expanding the city with additional city districts more living space for your colonists did i mention they pay taxes oh wow the voiceover lady sounds kind of normal but a little strange so how do I, ooh, whoa, what's this? Corals, seagrass, that's good for food. Oh, it, it wants me to build another district. City district. And I can build those anywhere. Is there a bonus for them being next to anything? Doesn't really seem like it. Good. Now set up another district next to the city center. Another one? Okay. This spot seems fine. It's not next to anything that I'd want to put a goods place next to. Oh, and it's got number one. You can probably upgrade them then, right? Yep. Okay. What about these? Uh, they have some upgrades, but Oh, population is going up It is time to expand the city center. This will expand the borders of your colony and open up additional land for building. Oh, even more. Okay. Upgrade. We now have access to research. May I introduce Professor Tustin. He heads our research department and acts as your personal technology consultant. Okay. Pleased to meet you. 
Oh, he sounds like a creep. In the research panel, you can research upgrades for your buildings. Click on the research button in the upper left corner to get there. Okay. Is he gonna tell me about it? <laughs> I guess we take a look at what's in here. City level two? Well, don't I already have this since I upgraded to level two? Oh, I do, I do. City level three. Oh, it takes time to research. 10 minutes? Research. License or research? Oh, these all have benefits and upsides and downsides. Increase yield of my plants, but it uses herbicides, which make the population less healthy. Okay. Oh, which in turn gets me less taxes. Oh. Oops. The expansion has been completed. The radius of your colony is increased now. It seems like it increased more on water than land. It's not exactly what I wanted, but... Uh, oh, what she got. Thanks to industrial mining, you can open up new construction land by clearing rocks. Some rocks contain valuable minerals such as gold. Look closely to find these deposits. Okay. Your next objective is to mine 200 gold for the company. In order to mine gold, you must build a warehouse. Okay. Where should my warehouse go? Here? Oh, it can't go there. Why not? I guess this is a fine spot too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Surely designing your cities is flexible <laughs> and I can't screw anything up in the long term this way. It's got a little frog face for building a warehouse. Why? Okay. Oh, so is that thing mining the gold now? Oh, it, so it does it automatically? Oh, did I just cancel it? Remining building materials is a pain. Can I make more drones? Uh, doesn't seem like it. Oh, maybe I do that from the warehouse. Automatic harvesting. No. Only one drone. I guess if I had multiple warehouses, I would do it. Is there a fast forward button? Uh, yeah. Very fast. This isn't super fast still, though. Oh. Need more food. Oh, how do I reduce the time? The speed. Uh oh. We have wait, wait. I need. <laughs> I, 
I don't know how to reduce the speed now that I've raised it. Uh oh. Wait, where's controls? Controls. Um, speed B and V. Okay, we got slowed down again. We need food. We need food. Um. This looks fine. The quality of life in your district. I just yeah, yeah, finished yeah, yeah, yeah. the construction plans for park districts. They improve the quality of life, and this increases population growth, and thereby your tax income. Shut up, creep. Okay. They're getting their food. Uh... That gives them a bunch and they need we'll build the wood factory here. Yeah. Our warehouse is now filled up with enough gold. It's time to trade. Build a spaceport. Oh, you could have told me before I need something new. Infrastructure? Spaceport. Uh, probably doesn't matter too much where this goes, right? Uh, this looks good as anywhere. Second landing permission at. Oh. 450,000? How do I get. It? Oh. I only have 300,000 landing space. Oh, but once I get to 450,000, I get another city center. Okay. Wait, what are they shoot? Great news. There are new buildings available. The company has also donated us a tech license. These are permits that will allow you to unlock and construct new buildings. Think carefully on how to spend them. This is most oh. merchant speaking from the Guild Space Traders. My friend just so happened to pass by your sector. I'll okay. buy anything you've managed to stuff into your warehouse. Energy, goods, food, or rare minerals. You name it. Okay, we've got gold. Time to buy, Mr. Freeman. Should I sell my coal? I need that for my energy, though, don't I? Good work. The sale of rare resources such as gold is crucial to financing the rapid development of your colony. Okay. So he said I I unlocked the park something or other. W oh, would that be a whole? That's its own district. I don't know about that. That's a lot. I don't think we need a park. What can I get you? Sell over production. Was that bad? 
<laughs> Tech licenses. Industrial farm. Oh, that's already what I have. But I could unlock a cattle farm. Why is that better? It gives less food. And fertility does less to help it. Oh, because it boosts other farms as well. Okay. So it's like a support farm. Energy efficiency, public transport. Uh, I don't know, man. What if I just increase the public transportation? More taxes, right? Or something like that? Huh? Needs to be researched. I thought that's what the license is for. Or is that for the building specifically? Okay, then I have to decide on a building. Could go for a machine factory. Biomass power plant. Oh, interesting. So you could go all in on cattle farms so you could do biomass Interesting idea, I think we'll start with the machine fact Okay, I spent my license They're still researching that So I could go and I'd make my Machine factory. Would that de- Oh, I can't build it there. Wait, can you? No, you can't get rid of a mountain. Still gold there, huh? Rocks. Uh, we're full on goods. Treat yourself to something fun. I'll sell you gold, but I want to sell you goods. Why can't I sell goods? That didn't do anything. Research completed. Oh. Okay. Let's do this one. Okay, so I need to make another city district. I'll do it here. Because I think I might put a park here. Oh, wait, that wouldn't... 
That one reads these. Oops. Oh well. You can press F1 to see a lot of hot keys and control hints that will improve your management workflow. For example, you can keep shift pressed and reuse the last tool or build the same construct again. Am I gonna be building that much? Oh, you can suspend production. Oh, that's a lot of micromanagement, though, you know? Like, I understand, but... Oh. Oh. I don't have a merchant. I have to wait 10 minutes. Yikes. They've almost got all of this mined. What am I waiting on? So I built my... Is it still being built or being filled? Oh, don't tell me I'm full on gold. I'm full on gold. But there's like four left. I I I Oh, you can mine this stuff? The asteroid? Interesting. Uh How do I get... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. How do I upgrade these? Because... So here, level up. Three city expansion levels needed. So can I expand the city? Level up a city center the three neighboring districts must have a combined expansion level of five i can't get them leveled up though until huh what's this hi everyone this is the boss Lima reported the progress you're making in the Tuto colony. I ordered a supply capsule with useful equipment from Planet Express. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to get 450,000 people, though. Well, I mean, I guess I do know how you do it. You build some houses. That's going to mean I need more food and power, though, right? We'll see. Why are they so unhappy here? Needs two types of... Oh! They're needy bitches. So I have to upgrade and figure out the cattle farm. And then I gotta make a cattle farm. Only 20 there. I could do it here, but that would lower this place. I think here makes sense. 
and it'll be next to a place that can have a farm when this place gets upgraded. Oh. In order to take over the cargo of the supply capsule, claim the field on which it stands. You can claim fields that are directly next to your border and then expand your build radius field by field until you reach the capsule. Oh, so I'd have to take this first and then take this. Okay. Oh, but then, oh, I have to choose, but I don't even know what's good. City level. We need yeah. more energy. Uh oh, uh oh, we got more pressing matters. We need energy. Here, 189 or 189? 189 or 189? I think 189. And we need goods. This gets more for being next to a power plant. So we'll build it here. We have come oh, we closer to our population goal and have therefore received another landing permit. Okay. We are to found a new city on the other continent on Tuto to gather some of the rare resources there. On Tuto. <laughs> okay. Uh, build second. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? Journal. If I do it here. Oh. They think these make good spots? Oh, because they've got acacia. Yeah, but they said that I want to maximize my land and these all get a bunch of water here. I get a lot of land. Am I wrong? I'm I'm doing it. Oh, we got so much power now. Back in this base. Oh, but we're going to need it since we have two places now. <laughs> You've discovered nitro pumpkins, a rare plant that will fetch high prices on the galactic market. Okay. To harvest this plant, you also need a warehouse in the same colony area. Okay. Oh, wait, does my food matter per colony? Like, do these guys have enough food? Research completed. Oh, research. Oh, I don't get unlimited researches, do I? Oh, I can research two at a time now, too. Factory production, public transport. I could be wrong, but I think I'm gonna just assume that upgrading is a net good and ignore the fact that there's the the downside <laughs> and just upgrade whatever the fuck <laughs> I, don't, I don't know dude 
I don't know what to upgrade. Hopefully that's good. Uh, over here I should build my warehouse. This doesn't matter, right? But I have to take into consideration where I'll want to build other stuff. Because... This takes up room. I think nothing important needs to go there. There's a lot of stuff to mine here. Almost makes me want to build two warehouses. <laughs> Now, is that ship gonna drop off all the way? Oh, when I, I don't know. What am I supposed to be doing? 900,000. Yeah. Harvest the nitro pumpkins. What's my cap now? 550? Okay, so we're gonna want to make housing. This is fine. We're gonna need more food. Maybe I should build back over here. This is a good spot. I never did take this thing. Soma. Gives the inhabitants of a district or an indigenous tribe a permanent mood bonus. Eh. Level up of city district independently of the city level in the surrounding districts. Maybe? Optimal forest on any field. Let's do city level. Oh, I... Oh, I... I get all of these. The equipment items have been added to your inventory. You can find them by choosing the suitcase icon. This. Mm, is it gonna level it up? Okay. Oh, optimization, I can get it. I am I have plenty of power though. Oh, cell time, cell time. Hearty greetings from outer space. Yep. Nitro Skirly Day? Huh? <laughs> uh I'll ignore that for now. We stored the necessary units of nitro skirlite in the warehouse. The workshop can be used to craft items. Build one. Build a what? A nitro skier lead? Oh, build the workshop itself. Okay. <laughs> My dear employees, I like to visit in person from time to time to convince myself of the progress of our projects. However, right now I urgently require a shipment of titanium. We need it to terraform the nearby planet Joma to become habitable. Okay. We need explosives to be able to blow up mountain massifs and start mining titanium. According to our scans, the mountains of this planet should be full of it. Okay. We need more goods. We need more goods. Uh, 
37, 37. Thirty-seven, forty-one. Oh, this, this is a lot. I think we're gonna save it there and leave it there for now. That'll do it for the first episode. I was hoping we could do, if it had a campaign, that we could do one mission per episode, but normally I do videos like half this amount of time already, so I think... I think it's fair to say it'll probably take two episodes, maybe even more, depending on how long these missions are per mission. Uh, but that's fine. You know, it, I think it's a pretty fun game so far. I'm having a good time. It's pretty chill, a bit different than the usual, but uh, it's good. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.